we have the top 10th engineering college of Karnataka which is none other than NIE college the highest package which was offered was 43.18 the average package was 9 LPS the NIRF college ranking came out to be in a band of 151 to 200 and the number of seats that were there for each course is is as you can see 60 60 60 hey champions how are you all i hope that you are doing amazing and i also hope that you are not worrying about too many things at a single time over here we just have to concentrate on what college and what course do we need to choose and we are trying our best to make things really easy for you i hope this helps now over here we have the top 10th engineering college of karnataka which is none other than NIE college right there in Mysore so Mysore children all of them can be really happy and those who want to ship to Mysore to get into this college be really calm because we are going to discuss about everything about seat matrix placement rates uh, the cutoff range that was there before the college code everything we are trying to provide all in one package in this particular videos that we are trying to do so over here the highlight of the story is obviously the highest package average package and the placement rate the three data is from their official website so you don't need to worry about anything but this was the of the year 2022 because we could not find of the year 2023 as well as 24 so you will get a basic idea what happened uh, two years back right so two years back the highest package which was offered was 43.18 the average package was 9 lpa so everyone who got into this college probably or will are trying to get into this college you can calm yourself down because obviously you will get at least 9 LPA because that comes out to be the average package now if you talk about the placement rate it's really good in the year 2022 it was 91.7 pretty good number right obviously so let's go ahead let's have an overview of the college over here we have the name of the college the actual name is the National Institute of Engineering Year of establishment is 1946, location is in Mysore and it is affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University which we discussed uh, when we were talking about RV and BMS and a lot of, uh, lot of other colleges, right? It's a very good university. Now, we go ahead, we talk about the alumni, which is very much important. So, you should know who all passed out from the college. Are they in good position or not? That is one major priority. I told you right in the video when we spoke about how to choose a college. So, basically, we have a set of four very prestigious alumni. You might be very familiar with him. He is the founder of Infosys. He is uh, Sir N. R. Narayana Murthy. Now, over here, I have a Lady Superstar, Mrs. Kalavati GV, she is the CEO of Philips Innovation Campus and I was really happy when I found that over here because you know back in that time uh, it was very difficult for women also to go to colleges and study but still somehow they all reached the different positions and it's not just one woman there might be so many of them but obviously because of the restrictions over here I could just choose her. Now, if you talk about Sri Ram Rivankar, I know you, most of you guys might have used Adobe in some point of your life. So, he is the Vice President of Adobe Research Labs. Now, we go ahead, we talk about S.B. Ravi Shankar. He is the founder of Epic Asset Management, which is actually located in Seattle, US. And it's, uh, what's a, a company that provides property, it, it helps in property management okay so all of them as you can see you might have got a rough idea all of them they are very well settled in their life and i hope everyone who passed out of this college are also in some good position which is what we got to know from the alumni connection and all the information that were there in the college website so you also can go to the college website and see the alumni if you really want to okay so yes i hope one day we all will be over here and some other teacher will be talking about you and be very proud of you. Yeah. Now, next thing, we have the placement record, which is one important data on the basis of which you should be choosing a college. One very important parameter. Over here, we have the highest CTC. In the year 2022, it was 43.18. Average CTC is 9 lakh again in the year 2022. Number of companies visited was 200 plus okay it was there in their official website right from their official websites so number of eligible students who were really eligible who passed uh, all the exams and everything it was 828 and number of offers it was 760 
So since we have data of 2022, so we thought we will take out the placement rate as well. So placement rate came out to be 91.7. How did it come out? We have a formula for this. We put the total number of offers divided by total number of seats into 100. You get the approximate placement rate. Okay. So let's see when we put the data that is 760 over 828 into 100, we got 91.7, which is again, I'm saying approximate placement data. So your placement record could be somewhere around here. Okay. But it is really good. It's really, really good. We go ahead. We talk about which particular stream got the highest placements. So this is the data of 2022 again. And over here, you have different courses. If you're not able to see them, I can uh, try to show you. This is uh, CAC, that is Computer Science and Engineering. You have uh, ISC, Information Science and Engineering, ECE, uh, that is uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Triple E, we have uh, Mechanical Engineering, we have uh, IPE, and last but not the least, we have uh, CE, that is Civil Engineering as well. So, with the data that was received, it came out that Mechanical Engineering got the most number of offers, okay, over here. It was around 192 offers, which is actually pretty good. So, over here, this is the branch, which got really famous in the year 2022. Now, we go ahead. We talk about the year 2023 as well because we got the data. So wherever we get the data, we put it over here so that you also can have a recent experience of things, right? So uh, here again, the same courses, but which course got the maximum number of offers? If you see, it's again ME, that is mechanical engineering. Over here, they got 206 offers, which is pretty good. So students who were eligible were 172 out of that uh, 206 offers were made so probably e student might have got multiple offers as well again that's really good right so that is about the placement record so if you're looking for this college probably they are good in recruiting uh, for uh, mechanical engineering so if you are a person who want to who want to go ahead with mechanical engineering you can choose this college as well okay we go ahead, we talk about the ranking. The NIRF college ranking came out to be in a band of 151 to 200. Uh, as I say in all the videos, I repeat this because if some new audience is there, they also should be knowing that, right? So the national institutional ranking framework, that is NIRF, it is based on the quality of faculties, the publishes, uh, uh, what say, the articles that are published, the quality of alumni who passed out, the people who got placed, everything. So this, they, the ranking came in this particular band, so it is pretty good, okay. Okay, now we go ahead, we talk about the courses offered, again, something very important. So everything is important, ma'am, why are you saying this is important, that is important, I know it's important, but yeah. So college code for aided course, so there is different uh, college codes, okay, you will get to know all of that. So over here, you have aided courses, aided courses as in the fees of this particular courses will be comparatively lesser than the unaided ones. So you have three courses starting from civil engineering, electronics and communication engineering going up to mechanical engineering. So over here I have mentioned one more thing that is south, south, south. What does this south, south, south mean? Okay. So for the aided courses, you have 1022 as the college code and the number of seats that were there for each courses is as you can see 60 60 60 now if you talk about the cutoff for k set what do we have the cutoff for k set as basically the lowest sorry the highest cutoff has went for electronics and communication engineering and what was it it is 9201 okay and that means if any child would wants to get into this particular course your rank should be below 9201 that is 9201 if your rank is below this then obviously you can get into this particular course but this is of the previous year okay this is the data of the previous year now if you talk about up to what range and it go to it is 79155 that is 79155 so you can go up to that particular range. So if you want to get into this college for aided courses, your rank should be in between the highest cutoff value and the lowest cutoff value, which is this thing. So if you are in that particular range, probably you can get into the college. Okay. For the aided course. Now, again, I'm telling you for aided courses, your, uh, what's a college code is E022. 
Now we go ahead. We have something else. For unaided courses as well, we have certain things. So, unaided courses as in the fees could be really uh, a bit higher than the aided ones. Starting from civil engineering, it goes up to mechanical engineering. The number of seats are mentioned over here. 120 is there for computer science and engineering uh, uh, with specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. With this information, something really clicked so fast over here. I have colored this civil engineering south. Okay, and I have not put the data over here because this is the first year that they are putting civil engineering under the unaided course as well. So that means civil engineering, there are two civil engineering courses over here. One is an aided course. Okay, there it was 120 earlier. The number of seats was 120. They cut it down to 60. So probably, obviously, the cutoff range could go lower. Okay, so a bit higher. I mean, I mean, uh, it can be like... Uh, the number will be obviously lesser than this. So not everyone can get into the college for the aided course. So it is just 60 this time. But uh, over there, if you see, so here they have added the 60 that they took from there and put it over here. So you will be having civil engineering as an unaided course as well. So since they started the, this year, so we do not have obviously this year only their cutoff ring, rank and every range will be coming. Now, what was already there? These many courses were already there. And if you see, uh, this is the number of seats, this is the cutoff range. That means, again, I'm telling you, if your number is the cutoff range put by KSET is 5802. And if you want to get into computer science and engineering, obviously, your rank should be lesser than this. So the highest cutoff that has went is for computer science and engineering. It is 5802. The lowest rank that has went for KSET is 64,993. It was for mechanical engineering. If you talk about Comet K, now if you have noticed in the aided courses, you cannot get into the aided courses with the help of Comet K. You can only appear or you can get into those courses with the help of KSET. So here we have an option. You can give Comet K exam as well. Now the highest cutoff again, it is for computer science and engineering. That is 6501. That is 6501. And the lowest cutoff has went for mechanical engineering again it is 39,676 if it's not clear I can just zoom in and show it to you so that it becomes clear it's 5802 and 6501 over here that is the what say the lowest cutoff that has went this is for mechanical engineering cool now what is there to tell you now okay you have to understand that there are two campuses for this particular college okay there is South Campus as well as North Campus. So there are certain courses for just the South course, uh, South Campus. There are certain, uh, certain uh, what say, courses just which is there in the North Campus. So over here, I have written South, North, North, South, North, South and everything. Okay. So you should be knowing that these courses are just there in the North Campus. Now, the college, the college code is also different. So if you are looking for a unaided course in the South Campus, it is the college code is E. 056. I am telling you again, be very attentive, it's very important. For unaided courses in the South Campus, it is E056. For unaided courses in the North Campus, it is E178. Okay, so what are the courses in the North Campus? Computer Science and Engineering, this one, this one and information science and engineering these are present in the north campus for them you have to put this particular code okay now if you want to get into this 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 and this mechanical engineering and all you have to and if it is unaided it is e056 now if you go back again for aided courses if i show you this is for aided courses all of them they are also in the south campus but for aided courses, you have a separate college code, which is E022. So you have to be very attentive there, right? Do not do any, any other thing that could ruin the future. So yes, this is the thing. Now, if you see the cutoff range for KSET, unaided, it is 5802 to 64993. If you want to get into this college, if you are not uh, worried about what course you should have be having, probably you can apply for it if your rank comes in between this range okay now for comet k also same thing if your rank comes in between this range probably you can get admission to this particular college but again the cutoff range could vary from time to time now this piece of information is really important do not mess up with this okay 
we go ahead we talk about the fees for aided it is rupees 42866 for unaided in the kset zone it is rupees 1 lakh 7495 for comet okay now this was there in the provisional fee uh, report that was given by the karnataka government okay it is provisional it can change as well now if you have not seen the video for that if you want to know the fee structure or if parents want to know you can just go and watch this particular video of aishwarya ma'am she is explaining really well okay now if you talk about comet k fee so for the year 2023 and 24 it was there in their official website so i put it there so that you get a clear idea of things so if you belong to karnataka it's rupees uh, 279316 if you are a non karnataka student then probably it is rupees 280816 it could change this is provisional you never know this year it could change it can be a bit higher okay that is what i found so i hope the fees is also clear we go ahead we talk about the facilities provided what do we have we have hostel for both boys and girls which is something that is really good right now if you are worried that you are not there in uh, what's my sore and you want to cover up uh, like there's a huge distance from your home obviously you can avail for this particular facility you go ahead you when i say you go ahead it goes back why is like that because ma'am you're messing things up okay so children a uh, genuine question did we cover your dream college until now if you have not covered it yet you can put down in the comment box if it's possible we'll definitely cover it okay so there are 10 more colleges that are going to come do not worry okay see come your favorite college might be still coming but still you can comment down if you want now if you have not seen these videos definitely go have a watch these are important sets of videos which could really guide you well for the case it exams okay so you have the best so college for you you can you should be knowing the 11 parameters before choosing the best college as well as the best course for yourselves yeah you can see that video if you want to know about the choice filling you can see that particular video if you want to know the cut off for basically branch wise cut off for top 20 colleges you can see this video so all these videos are really helpful for you we made it just oriented it oriented it for just for you so that it becomes really easy for you to get into the college that you wish for now if you like this video if you think it was useful do not forget to like share and subscribe and do not forget to keep smiling and be happy do not be too worried please so take care bye bye